Hi, welcome to Magical Extras, a presentation of the Echo World. I'm Michael. Today I'm going to talk about the myths and legends and ceremonies of the Andy Mountains and the Amazon jungle. I'm going to be doing a workshop on these, a free two-hour workshop, Friday night, the 15th of May, followed by a series of Friday night one-hour workshops um, that I'll be charging for that I hope many of you will attend. In these workshops, I'll be explaining what ceremony is, how it's done in much of Latin America, South America, and exploring different gods and goddesses. First, I want to stop and tell you that the May Echo World is out. Um, it will be being distributed this week. Uh, it's a little late. It was a little tricky, but uh, we got something out there for you, and we're alive and well, and you can pick it up at your local supermarkets or near pharmacies uh, in the month of May. And as we return to normal, it'll be in more and more outlets. I also want to say that there's a wonderful article explaining what we went through by my wonderful wife, Sophia, um, called uh, Welcome to Ragnarok. And uh, I wrote a sweet little uh, editorial about cats and dogs. And you know, our cat, Inti, has kept us sane during these trying times. And we want to run a contest. Not a contest, but a way to honor them. Uh, we're going to print uh, a couple of pages of pictures of your pets. Uh, if you send them in to email them to the magical, no, not the magical extras, <laughs> to uh, the echo news publishers at gmail.com. Uh, and those that we can't put in the magazine, we'll put on the Echo World Facebook page. Now, meanwhile, back in Peru and Brazil and the Amazon and the Andes, uh, I will be speaking in the workshop about some of the gods and goddesses and depths, just how amazing they are, how Pachamama is Mother Earth, how Pachamama is uh, the mother of the moon, how Inti is the father of the sun. Uh, we'll talk about the ocean goddess and the guardian of the Amazon jungle who is able to change shapes to protect the trees and the wildlife and to fend off foresters and miners. I'll be talking about ceremony and giving examples. We'll be doing ceremonies at each one of the workshop sessions. If you can't attend the first two hour one on Friday the May 15th, I'll be recording it and posting it here on the Echo World YouTube channel. The other ones, you'll have to pay for. <laughs> I'd like to lead you on an experimental ceremony. There's, um, in my book, The Secrets of the Ancient Incas. Yeah, looks better there. Uh, and in my book, The Secrets of the Amazon Shamans, I have spoken about many of the gods and goddesses. One of my favorites, uh, if I can find him, is the Conboro God. Also, I love Mero, the mother of the Pumas. Uh, the Conboro God is uh, Tero de Mes. You can invoke any energy, any entity, any god or goddesses. You can bring them in to enhance your lives, to expand your consciousness, to help you get through certain tasks. I've brought them in often over recent months, looking for grounding, expanded vision. I'd like to lead you in a small meditation on Kero the de Mes, the Cornboro God. He's an odd guy because the Inca would pray to him when they had diseases or insect infestation in their corn crop, maize corn. 
he could be brought in to help them get into small places unseen and do simple tasks. I like to do ceremony on many levels in many ways. One way is to just sit and breathe deep. You can choose to do this with me or you can go someplace else. Or you can just listen. If you breathe deep and think of a small worm or caterpillar like being that burrows into the con. He's not seen to be a beneficent being unless you invoke him and ask him for his help. Think of yourself communicating with this caterpillar like corn burrow, chero de mes. Feel what it's like to be inside an ear of corn. Feel what it's like to be able to be unseen. Imagine what it's like to be able to crawl and eventually turn into a winged being like a moth almost and fly away. I'm going to let you sit with this for just a couple of minutes. If you don't like this, bring in Mero, the puma goddess. Imagine what it's like running through the jaguar, through the Amazon jungle. Or bring in another god or goddess, or the memory of a relative or a friend. See what you get with this. Feel yourself altering. Feel yourself going elsewhere. Feel yourself being expanded. Now we'll sit quietly for just a few moments. This is an exercise you can do anytime. If you've made contact with an expanded version of yourself or another being, ask them for their last bit of information or feelings. Thank them for what they've given you. Slowly be conscious of your body, return to yourself. Know that you can return to any part of the world in your meditations and your ceremonies. Connect with any being, any animal. Expand yourself, expand your awareness, expand your way of being. What you focus on grows in your life. So focus on positive, being more, being healthy, being happy. Now feel yourself returning totally to your body and your consciousness. This is just a taste of the kind of ceremonies I hope to do, plan to do, in my workshops. I introduce you to a wide range of gods and goddesses. I've been blessed to be in Latin America quite a bit and to be in ceremony quite a bit and to experience transcendent states in quite a number of ways. I plan to share these with you. I am Michael Peter Langevin. The first free two hour workshop will be May 15th at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. I look forward to having you join us on Zoom. You can email me at theechonewspublishers at gmail.com or go to my website, michaelpeterlangevin.com. Pick up The Echo World this month or see it online at The Echo World. Dot com. This has been the Magical Extras.
from the Echo World. And I thank you for joining me. I wish you all health. And maybe we have a gentle landing as we return to a hope of normalcy, or as they say, a new magical normal in the world. Thank you. <laughs>